The following video shows amazing aspect of a great and grand story. Thank you all developers for making this game. Please leave like and subscribe and share this video and the channel to everyone. I'll greatly appreciate it and I hope you enjoy the video. Hi guys! So uh, a little heads up on what's going on with the series now is that uh, Monster Hunter Sunbreak is going to be out soon and I just realized that there's about 20-ish same thing as Three Houses, <laughs> there's about 20-ish uh, chapters. So, uh, that's gonna be bad because uh, these episodes are gonna be almost mostly for the main mission now because because I can't fit everything in one episode. So, And there's a lot of chapters in this game. So I'm gonna have to condense a lot of the stuff that happens in each chapter, like the sub-missions the sub battles that I have to go through to get to the main mission. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Hopefully. 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 I'm still trying to adjust. Because at this point. I don't know what to do with the Let's Play anymore, to be honest. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Scarlet Blaze. Skirmish in the Fog. Oh. The Empire captures Garrig Mach, and when the lords of Fargus and Lester declare their allegiances to the Central Church, they incur Edelgard's ire. Mm -hmm. She sends one army to the Alliance under the command of her war minister, Count Burglies, oh. and leads a second herself to the kingdom's castle Gaspar, the bastion of Northern Roe. Gaspar, right next to his Aring Road. Lady Edelgard, we have received an urgent message from Count Roe. Apparently, he has taken up arms against the kingdom. What is he thinking? He was supposed to join his troops with ours so we could use our combined strength to strong arm more of their neighbors into declaring fealty for us. What use is a plan if the man won't follow it? Cornelia? Maybe Cornelia persuaded Ro? It also seems that Lord Lenato, one of Ro's castled bannermen, has gone so far as to mount a one-man crusade against the Archbishop. He has long held deep enmity for Lady Rhea, and likely leapt into action at news of Garrick Mach's fall. I should have suspected he would lack self-control when it came to his vengeance. Naturally, the Kingdom mobilized troops in response, and now move to strike Lenato down as we speak. So, where does this put us? Can we get reinforcements to him in time? You want to save the man, Your Majesty? If I may, we would march all that way for... what, exactly? Imagine the consequences of leaving him to die. That is true, yeah. <laughs> An assassination plot? <laughs> no, no, no. That's three houses! We need our vassals to believe the Empire will always come to their aid. Always. Of course, Your Majesty. I will make the arrangements straight away. That's a good call. The region northeast of Castle Gaspar is shrouded in deep fog this time of year. That likely accounts for why they are currently only engaging in minor skirmishes, which means we still have time to intervene. Good. Now make our plans known to the others. I'm counting on you, Hubert. At once, Your Majesty. All of this makes me even more concerned about the situation in Leicester. Nothing has impeded Minister Burglies's march east, has it? It has not. In fact, Count Gloucester has given him leave to garrison our troops there. I hear he has begun turning the screws on House Ordelia, and any other lords who have yet to make their allegiances clear. On the other hand, the Alliance's more powerful houses have united in their condemnation of Count Gloucester's actions. The minister may soon face a battle with houses Regan and Goneril, if not others. Mm -hmm. I can't picture a battle the minister wouldn't win most handily. Still, the Alliance's new leader, Claude, is an unknown quantity. We can't risk underestimating his skill. Quite right. One can never be too cautious. <sighs> What's the next area? Ah... Northwest. Alrighty. 
You can now invite allies to whom you have attained support C to hire on expedition. Expeditions! Tea time! Get to know ally better through conversation and question. Yeah, it is pretty much tea time. Expect that with Halst. <laughs> Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. No, forget that. I'm, that's a that's a meme. That's a meme at this point. <gasps> Happy! Constance! Good day to you. Oh dear, it seems I found myself living in the Empire once more. Though I was once hostile to the idea, it may be the fastest and most assured way for me to finally see my house restored. Still, it's a move awash in calculated self-interest. I wonder if anyone, everyone will accept me afterward. Claim your scepter. Yes! I accept you! I accept all members of the Ashen Wolves. Whoa! Oh, someone's doing push-up! <laughs> Hello! One. Two. Much, much, much later. My one. Twenty-two. Oh! Greetings. Anna! Welcome. Welcome to my shop. Or, uh, uh, what's going to be my shop if I were, uh, open a darn thing? Anyway, hiya. I'm Anna. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. If I find anything good out there, I'll add it to the stock. Alrighty. Oh yeah! I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Arvel, I am very, very sorry. Is it weird that I'm this close? I am so sorry. I never talked to you first. I'm very sorry, Arvel. What do you think? I believe you got lost once in the forest near here. Do you remember? Not yes. Yes. Mm. Of course I do. The Maya village is just over that way. Or was it this way? How tiresome. Clueless as ever, I see. Recognizing your shortcomings is the first step towards growth, you know? <laughs> ah. Oh, Bernie! Hello, Bernie. Is my father chasing me? <laughs> Did you hear Shez? My father's at the Garrick Mock. I heard it's something to do with him serving a bishop for Edogard, maybe. Do you think she's chasing me, right? Please say no. <laughs> deny it empathetically. Come on, really? Really? Deny it empathetically. You sure? I seriously doubt it. You'll probably stay put in Garrick Mock for a while. If I had to guess. Oh, yeah. That's a relief. Maybe he'll just never return to Enbire and I won't have to see him ever again. Sorry, Bernadetta. I have no idea. <laughs> I might invite her to tea time. Extra quests. Very rarely, extra quests will appear in a war map. Couriers and monsters. Woo! Extra quests will disappear when their counter, counter reaches zero. The counter will decrease each time a new region is captured. What? Ah! Alright, I am back. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go charge to uh, whatever this place is. Battle of Mag Magdred. So, we're going to go to Barnabas territory. Recapture the storehouse. One, two, three, four, five, all right, switch. Let's go, Constance. Wait, what's your ability? Personality shift generates a small number of orbs. That is press orbs of light depending on, on the stage. Press ZR to launch the orbs. Why is she still down? She's in a cave. What the heck? All right, we're good here. What the heck? Oh no, there's another. There's another mission. Oh, Pilardo! What? Oh, Polardo! The feisty ones. They're worth more alive. Oh, okay. Let's seal the deal. Let's go. Let's link up. Lend me your strength. Ha! We'll do it together. And we're done. All right, we got this region. Training points recovered. Thank you. Ten strategy resources. Oh, here we go. So, what did you want to talk about, Hubert? I thought we might discuss you, actually. You wish to know more about those eldritch powers of yours, yes? Oh, right. Edelgard said I might have a chance to get to the bottom of that. Kinda figured she'd forgotten since it's been two years now. Pray accept my apology on her behalf. It has been more trying to find answers than we originally expected. With Lord Arendelle lost to the winds, it has been a trial combing through what little evidence he left behind. 
And of course, we are undertaking all of this in the midst of painstaking preparations for war. Recall Lord Arundel. Yeah. Lord Arundel is the guy who could shapeshift like Tomas, right? The one who escaped? Correct. However, we have recently learned that he goes by another name. Thomas. Yes. Did you figure out if my powers are the same as his? And what are my powers anyway? Not some kind of curse, I hope. A fine question. I think it is safe to assume that you possess some form of magic. However, it is not the same ilk as the white and black magic we are familiar with. Yours is, shall we say, dark magic. Heathen craft that is structured differently from conventional spells. Ah. You are familiar with those who slither in the dark, yes? People like Tomas, Kranya, and Tallis. Mm -hmm. We believe they possess the same power as you. Accept the truth of Hubert's words. That's tough to accept, but the similarities are too great for it to be anything else. Yep. Still, what you think does not matter in the end, because my mind is already made up. So what? Are you gonna banish me someplace far away because I'm too dangerous? It's fine if you do. I'm used to being cut loose. That's just how life as a sellsword goes. Do not be absurd. If we were done with you, we would kill you, not banish you. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Fortunately, you are exceedingly talented, and Her Majesty trusts you implicitly. The way I see it, we stand to profit best by keeping you in our service. So you trust me too? Uh, thanks, I guess. I swear to God, if you guys backstab me. <laughs> but now we have a more important question to answer. Namely, how you came by your powers. I thought I heard someone talking in here. Hey, El. We were just finishing up. Do you have business with our mercenary friend, Your Majesty? I do. And I suspect it's related to what you were just talking about. Then I will leave you to it. Pray excuse me. You should see the look on your face. Did Hubert threaten you? Don't let it get to you. <laughs> yes, he's quite good at that kind of thing, but it comes from a place of caution. I wish that was all that was bothering me. I want to transform the world into a place where no one has to feel trapped by where they came from. When I am done, it won't matter where you are born, whose blood you have, or what powers course through you. Everyone will be treated as equals. That's what we're fighting for, and that is what this war is going to achieve. So believe me when I say this, I don't care who you are. I only care about what you have done, and what you have yet to do. Well, thanks, Edelgard. I feel a little better now. Oh god, another one? Oh boy. We're gonna have to get this in the next one right now. Right. All would be lost if I were to die here. Woo! What? Oh no! It's another demon. That's a demon beast. Defeat the XP demon piece. De XP? Like, do I get extra XP? First strike. Out of the way. One, two. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. All right, let's go. Wait, who? Oh, Rodri. I may no longer be the shield of Fargus, but I will not hesitate to cut you down should you try to bring harm to the kingdom. Finish it off. Lend me your strength. Apologies. We'll do it together. <laughs> I've got you now! Okay. That was not S rank, but it's something. It's I am something. grateful that we survived. It's something. 30 point. Alright. 10 strategy resources. Okay. Oh, what? I can take. Oh! I see now. I see now. That's sexist, but all right. <laughs> all right, so Monica wants to go on an expedition. Let's try that. Let's try the expedition right now. 
You'd like to go for a ride? Very well. It's always important to take a break every now and again. Mm-hmm. Planes, let's go. Of course. I have some time on my hands. This is this is nice. This is <laughs> this is very interesting. My father was not a legitimate heir, and in truth had no desire to inherit his title. The situation is uh, complicated, to say the least. Catch her meaning and feel for her, I guess. Leave it to me. Ah, got it. All right, I got it. Get, get a competitive no, I'll commend that. Leave it to me. Huh? He uses it up. Okay. I'm very new to this because this is a different type of tea time, technically. I mean, since you are a simp, I'll go with that. Leave it to me. Okay. Okay. Get out of my face, Monica. Get out of my face. The conversation fizzled. Oh, that was time well spent. Let us do it again sometime. No. <laughs> ah. Well, you were a waste of my time. <laughs> Goodness sake, that was a waste of my time. <laughs> Waste of my time. My precious time. I hate her. Number two. Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. Here we go. Oh, golem! We might actually lose here. Holy crap! A golem! Defeat the brawler and the golem to win the battle. Oh god. Caspar! Holy crap, I wanna see this. I wanna see this golem for myself. Out of my way, I want to see the golem. Oh my god! Oh yes! Caspar! One, two... Let's go! Back away, back away. Oh, I got material? What the heck? One, two... Oh! Out of the way, Constance! Two... Finish it off! Woo! Woo! Wow, this thing is... Nightmarish. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. Um... So I can't just sit this one out? Yes. <laughs> Finish him off! Good job. Woo. One. There we go! I've got this. Alright, Fernand, it's on on you. One, two, finish it off! It's over! means I can finally go home. Yes, Bernie. <sighs> so much. S rank battler. Yes. All right, that's all I could do for literally this episode. Literally everything I could do. For the Oh, don't restart it now! Oh my god. <laughs> I would be so devastated if I had to restart it again. Oh, wait, wait, what? Run the street stall? Ooh! Dorothea and Manuela, since they're from the, uh, opera company, this should happen, something. Something should happen, hopefully. I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I'm glad I'm paired with you, Manuela. So glad that I'm even excited to be working. Yes, it reminds me of our days in the opera company. But this time, you finally get to see I can do more than just strut about the stage. Ah! I got it right. I got it right. That's good. That's Things good. I got the simple couple with right. the two of us on the job. A shame I didn't meet any heartthrobs while we were at it, though. Next time, Manuela, you're beautiful and charming, and that's a fact. We all must do our fair share. Wow, that, that was perfect. That was perfect. That was perfect and beautiful. Too bad there's nothing for Caspar and Linhart. Because there's definitely conversation between those two. Uh, let's try this one. Even though Constance is really happy. Happy in Constance. I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I can only hope to repay a fraction of the kindness you have shown me, both above and below ground. 
my dear happy. You've done plenty for me, Coco. So let's just take it one step at a time like always. I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so uh, after all the hard work that we have been doing throughout the whole chapter to get to the main mission, we are finally done with all that. Oh, also, uh, a little thing here, I just realized after so long, the gatekeeper is back! Nothing to report, you sure about that? Well, you're at the gatekeeper after all, you better be playable soon, I hope so. Greetings, friend. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Seems like a chief folks of Garak Mach, that is, the Central Church, have fled to the kingdom. And the Pure Army is now invading the kingdom? We sure got some fierce battles ahead. In any event, I pray you return safely. Okay, so basically, since the Gatekeeper is a very, very popular character, he's going to be featured at every single episode. Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. He, he's going to be in every episode, so deal with him. All right. So I have been, I have been doing a bit of farming in this uh, chapter or battle here because a, a XP demon beast spawns in this area, and I've been farming umbra stones here and of course experience. And now we are finally here at Madrid Way, the Battle of Madrid, enemy level 16. The impatient Lord Lenato has declared open war on the kingdom. You must make haste along the Madrid Way if you are to have any hope of saving him. Alright, we're gonna have to save Lord Lenato now. <sighs> Alright, let's go! The battle. The fog is rather thicker than I imagined, Hubert. And if I'm not mistaken... Yes, I agree. Dark magic is assuredly the cause. We already know those who slither in the dark have had comings and goings at House Row. Mm -hmm. I doubt one of them is here. But there could be a mage present who received their training. Mm-hmm, yeah. Same, similar to Three Houses, there was this one mage in the middle of the forest, literally causing the fog. Then we had best leverage our own assets. Why is everyone whispering? Is the enemy aware of our coming? It's entirely possible, yes. They could be directly on top of us, and we would scarcely know it. Yeah, it's so funny how loud Fernand was when he was left with that line. <laughs> Say anything louder! Why is everyone whispering? Why is everyone whispering? Why is everyone whispering? Because we need to be quiet. So yes, let us all stay on our toes. Prudent of you to bring it up, Ferdinand. Ah, thank you. I, I mean, thank you. Yes, there you go. Sheesh. <sighs> Why so quiet, Caspar? Normally you'd be at the front of the line making all kinds of racket. He's the loud one here. What, you think I'm the kind of guy who'd get all scared and give our position away? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not afraid of anything. Hmm. You're unusually quiet, Petra. Did you not get enough sleep or something? I am listening to our surroundings. Nothing has more danger than fog. One incorrect step and you will be losing your life. I wonder how is this gonna play out this chapter? Like, the fog is a big mechanic in, like, Fire Emblem. And it's so stupid that they don't play it too often in the actual battles. It's Except for the paralogues, but like, it's just the paralogues. I'm very disappointed in that. I really hope the fog makes it, like a lot more appearance, hopefully. Can we all try to relax? I'm pretty sure we're alone out here, so let's just calm down before we wear ourselves out. Sometimes you all make me think we're still back at the academy. Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> yes. Well, great. I was hoping to finish this before reinforcements arrive, but so be it. Oh, 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 I know that get up. Gerald. I will prioritize locating Lord Lenato. Can I leave the Imperial troops to you? I know what to do, so let me do it already. Just mind this fog and make sure you don't attack the wrong side. That goes for you as well. Let us see if you can live up to your reputation. Oh, <laughs> now they're, <laughs> they're freaking raising mercenaries. Oh, Jesus, it's fully fogged. 
Rescue Lunato. Oh my god. Lunato is routed. Oh crap. Torch. That's a need. This is tempting. It's really tempting, this one. Okay, uh... We are gonna have to spread out. Don't know if it fo don't know if the torch follows up with all the characters or just the four characters that you control. It'll be interesting if they all spread out so that way we know where each location is. That would be pretty dang. Sp I'm doing that. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. Persuade Ash. Oh my god. Does the secret ending really like involve? Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I I figured out a plan. I think. I think, hold on, I need to think more, I need to think more. Because my initial idea is having literally all the, just Black Eagles, just Black Eagles for this episode. But why don't I keep on persuading or keep on recruiting, if possible, these other characters from other timelines? I could possibly do that so that way I can help them level up. For New Game Plus, because New Game Plus does carry over a lot of stuff. And of course there's New Game Plus, because, like, there's three timelines. It needs to carry over. Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, so here's my plan. My plan is to persuade as much members as possible. As much members as possible. And so, that I can help them get the levels that they can get while I work with Sunbreak. Because Sunbreak is going to take a while because a lot of you, a lot of you, love my Monster Hunter content and Monster Hunter in general more than the series that I'm working on, which I love the most. But yeah, we, we don't go and get there. But yeah, while I work on Sunbreak, I can grind off screen for these other characters. I could basically just get them be part of the ride and use gold on them over and over. Okay, so they have... Axes, lances, they must have Pegasus. Since we're fighting Kingdom Army, we need a bow. We need a bower. Yet again, Shez has the wing, sh wing thresher. So we should be good with the bow thing. Yeah, we're good with the bow thing. We need an axe and change that axe to a mace if you can. Change that to a mace. So that way, any of the armored is pretty much good for you. Yeah. Alright. So we have Hubert, Ferdinand, Caspar, and Shez as main playables. Alrighty, here is the Battle of Madrid. 15 minutes, 1500 enemies defeated. Let's do this. Alright. The closer we get, the denser the fog. I can barely make out my own feet. Okay, before you guys continue on the conversation, uh, we need to ensure that we Begin. stick together. I hope this works, hold on. Petra, move forward. Ferdinand, not a question of can. move up. All right, go with each other. Caspar, so... go downwards. What should I be doing again? Go downwards. Stop giving me sass, please. I'm on it. Which will prove yeah. useful for Lord Lenot. As he possesses low numbers, yeah. the man will doubtless take any edge. Yeah. We need to find him before the kingdom dies and take him into our protection. Main mission start. Find Lanato in one of the strongholds. Ah, okay, I see. Lord Lanato will surely be hiding in one of these strongholds awaiting rescue. The fog will provide cover, but not forever. We need to hide him. Yep. Don't let Luna Lanato be routed. Hold strong, men. His lordship needs us. Lord Lanato's forces appear to be fighting a losing battle. Defeat the mercenaries and aid the Gaspard militia. Ah, uh, Gaspard militia. Okay. So, uh, downward, okay. Actually, yeah, that does work. I'll meet you there. All right, let's go. We must help them if we can. Send whatever troops we can spare. We're not really going to stumble our way through this suit, are we? I thought we had some sort of solution. A torch! I thought I already have that unlocked. No, now, do it now. There we go, alright! Okay, Caspar will handle this. Sure, let's try Shez will handle that. I need to control Hubert to take control of the top part. One, two. Yeah. 
Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta help this Gaspard. Gaspard, Mr. Sha. Oh, wait, you're saved already? No, oh, I passed it. One, two, three, four. One, two. Da, 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 da. You will die. You will die by the hands of my creation. All right, here we go. Do you think he's responsible for all this fight? Wait, what? I see enemy reinforcements. Defeat the armored knights and aid the Gaspar general. What? Where? Oh, over there at the top left. I sniffed out the spell cast. This fog breathes. Lord Renato will have no matter. We need his location to be hidden. Shez, on you. Take a breather. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All the citizens are safe. Yeah. What? Lenato's in trouble. Was to land one blow on that conniving archbishop. Keep looking, guys. Hubert, move, 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 move. We need to find them fast. And the sage is good. Yeah, we're safe here. Thank you. Lord Lenato is sheltering deep in the Eastern Wood. Please hurry to him. Wait, Eastern Wood? Oh, okay, got it. Okay, got him. Get to Lenato. While you guys are at it, deal with the. Oh, Ingrid! Yeah, you go on Ferdinand's location. And then I'm gonna show Hubert to deal with Ingrid. The Imperial Army is here. Oh my god. All troops, ready yourselves to intercept. We missed. Watch out, oh god. Defeat Ingrid. Oh boy. <sighs> Ingrid. Oh. You boy. will pay in blood for invading the lands of Fargus. Ingrid, no. No, this is supposed to be a good ending. Yes. One, two, great. It will take more than this. You want more? All right. One, two. Any final words? One, two. One, two. I feel no mercy. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Again? Oh my god, yeah. There we go. Sheesh! How am I being bested by the likes of you? Because I'm better! Grinding, baby. <laughs> okay, Shez will take out this base. I'm gonna control uh, Fernand so that way I can get a lot of chaos. Fernand is really good with that. I am your no. Oh, okay, never mind. It seems my blade is too dull for the task. Okay, I'm checking them out now. Forget S rank already. Lenato! Out of my way! Defeat the mercenaries and aid Lenato. My thanks for the rescue. Put one task off the to-do list. Now we just have to deal with the kid. There we go. Let's go! Okay. So I live to see another day, do I? Uh huh. I knew the thoughts from Dependence. I don't like how close we cut this, but I'm glad you're safe. Now we can focus on the rest of the fight. Now that Lord Hodato is ready, finally dispense with the magic. Mm hmm. Yep. Let's do this! Aid Lenato, the Gaspar General, to hey, speak the fog. The fog is gone. Now we don't have to keep running into things. Yep. Ash. Oh, Ash! Okay, here it is. How could you betray His Majesty Lenato? How could you do this to me? 
Oh, he's not with Lenato. Interesting. I thought he would be with Lenato. Defeat Ash. <laughs> not quite. All right. Ash, you came here for me. Ash is your adopted son, and family should not fight family. Let us persuade him to lay down his arms instead. Yep. That sounds about right, Adegard. This is a good ending and good game after all. Persuade Ash. Defeat and recruit Ash. Alright. Alright, Shez. Shadow Slide. Shadow Slide to Nolato. Hello, Ash! Nice seeing you! No one is matching us! We'll do it together! Come on, Ash. Stop it, Ash. You're throwing your life away. You want Lord Lenato carrying that weight around for the rest of his life? I... No. You're right. I surrender. Alright, recruit Ash. And you guys really ruined the freaking atmosphere. I beg you. I could not bear to lose another son. Our goal here is achieved. Now we hunt down any kingdom stragglers and... What? Huh? Pick a god and pray. Oh! No fun ends here. Oh no! Oh my god, no! It's frightening theme! Oh, you hear that? We must run away! Hurry! Oh no. SpongeBob, quick, reel it in! Can't you hear the music? Cut the four four string off the dono in D minor! There you go, you stinking bill threat! Stop playing that music! Stop it, please! I'm begging ya! Defeat Byleth. Oh no! Let's do this! An Allow enemy me. detachment. Put them to rout and make sure to keep Lord Lonato safe. The mercenaries have cut off their retreat. Now's our chance to get Lonato. Oh Jesus, they all. Oh, they appeared all over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is not good. Hurry up. Get out of my way. Such monstrous strength. Oh, Jesus, he's too still. He's still too strong, isn't he? Okay, almost there, almost there. Just need a few more. Okay, finally. All right. Now. Shadow Slide to Byleth. Round two, Byleth. You again, is it? I see you fight for the Empire now. Uh huh. Just draw your weapon already. You and me have a score to settle. Let's go! One, two. Come on, come on! Take Gerald? Oh no! Guess I better get in there instead of letting the kid do all the work. Alois. I may be a new arrival, but no one can arrival my enthusiasm. I want to slap you. <laughs> I want to slap him. <laughs> Defeat Gerald and Alois. So, oh, God, crimey. Ignore the Ash and target the enemy commander instead. Doing so will force them to retreat. All right. Eloise! Time to slap you! I know we were told not to engage, but isn't this a great opportunity to see how much you've grown? Face an Oh, come on! I just hate you! Fine! I'm unstoppable. Fine! Pick up your mind. Though yours is indeed a power that brought us to Come back! Let us fight with honor! Is that always? Yeah. Since when did he quit the Knights of Saros? Three. Come on, come on, come on. Not good enough. Let's wake up. Let's go, Petra. We'll do it together. 
I've got you now. One, two. No, I want to do the side mission. Whoa! Oh my God, that's too much. That's over the time limit. Let's just finish this up. Let's end this, Violet. I did what I came to do. Finally! Whoa, whoa, what did he drop? Is that boosting item? <gasps> Woo! I let them slip away like it was nothing. I'm falling back, Captain. We'll do it together! I've got you now! Good. I was worried the Empire's soldiers lacked back. <laughs> really? Okay. There we go. This fight has run its course. All of you, retreat. <sighs> well done. We have kept his lordship safe. This victory will greatly further our conquest. <laughs> well, we did it. Yet you're still the saddest looking fighter in camp. Why the long face? Because we only barely got the job done. Everything else was a miserable failure. Sure, we saved Lanato and put Gerald and his mercenaries to rout. But we let the kingdom's troops get away in the process. And if that wasn't bad enough, I failed to beat the Ashen Demon. Basically, we lost in nearly every way you can lose. Whoa! What? Well, not quite wrong. You were hired to do a job, and you did it. Exactly. See, even Arval, my best man, knows and understands. You're a man, right? And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. Mm-hmm. Agree with Arval. Agree with him. You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way, so do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Then I guess my goal hasn't changed. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> Only sin, it took longer. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna have to do this again. Catherine Leonard. And Ash is not playable, but I'm not playing him in this timeline, so don't expect him to make an appearance again. We must make haste. There's not a moment to lose. Understood. Randall, take your troops to Orion Road and await further instruction from Hubert. Leave it to me, Your Majesty. Why is everyone so worked up? What happened? It seems the troops we stationed in the Alliance are in danger, and serious danger at that. Gloucester oh. and the other lords betrayed them, and now they have been completely cut off. Wait, what? Whoa, that is, wow. I thought they were gonna follow up. They betrayed them? No way. No. The word betrayal suggests they were on our side in the first place. But I think we can safely assume that was never their intent. Wow, Gloucester, you freaking. Glosser, you wow. This whole time, they were simply waiting for us to move the rest of our army toward the kingdom. As soon as they saw an opportunity, they cut off routes to the Great Bridge of Murden and Garrick Mock. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. Oh, it's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stings. I don't think this was Claude's doing, though, wasn't it? Unless they force Gloucester to actually change sides. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Exactly! Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a web Claude has spun for this exact moment. Perhaps it is. But perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. Advice caution. We better stay on our toes. This all fell together too perfectly to be some kind of unhappy accident. Yeah. I suppose. All I know is that our reinforcements will never make it there in time. The direct route east risks running into both Kingdom and Alliance forces. 
But if we attempt to skirt around them, we will all be aged in gray before we ever reach Gloucester. Which means our only option is marching south. We'll regroup on this side of the Aramid River, retake the Great Bridge of Murden to cover our backs, and then cut through the enemy cordon. That doesn't sound a whole lot faster. Mm -hmm. Will our troops be able to hold out that long? I would say no, but these are no ordinary soldiers. They are commanded by our greatest warrior, Count Leopold von Burglitz, mm -hmm. the Minister of Military Affairs, and a man who has never lost even one battle. If anyone can rally our troops and convince them to hold, it's him. Let's, ho let's hope it holds out. What a brilliant trap. The Regan boy's even craftier than they say. I agree, sir. Even Count Gloucester's adept army seems to be acting with remarkable discipline. But will the reinforcements reach us in time? Hmm. <laughs> the real question is, are they coming at all? Because if they're on the way, they'll make it in time. So long as I draw breath, they will make it. So count on them coming. Her Majesty would never abandon us. Yes, sir. You're too valuable of an asset, Berkeley's. Soldiers of the Empire, I know fear gnaws at your hearts, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't run from this fear. Embrace it. Take measure of the enemy that surrounds us, and look them square in the face. Yes, we're outmaneuvered and face a vicious fight ahead. But pray to the goddess for protection, and her fire will fill your soul and temper your resolve. Our only duty here is to stay alive, be fearful of death, and let not a single soldier fall needlessly. Raise your voices with me now. Let me hear your courage. We will not lose. <laughs> Wow, these guys aren't backing down. If anything, they actually seem more excited than before. That's Burglies! How is that possible? They're completely surrounded. No one will ever reach them in time. Yes, but Count Burglies is their commander. And I'm guessing a lot of those troops are veterans of the Dagda and Bridget War. Mm -hmm. During that conflict, the Count's troops held off wave after wave of Dagda soldiers right to the very end. Our force must look tame in comparison. Okay, so what now? I wanted this to be clean, but we're looking at a complete bloodbath on both sides. What I want is the upper hand against the Empire, not these people's lives. And there's honor in that, but I don't think they're going to play along. They don't have to accept every part of it. I just thought they might be, you know, scared? Well, so be it. They may have boundless courage, but they don't have boundless food. If Count Burglies wants me to tighten the snare, that's exactly what I'll do. Oh, okay. So, after we got Garrick Mock, with the help of Gloucester and Acheron, we went and saved Lonato and encountered Byleth, Geralt, and Aloise in the midst of the battle, and we failed to pursue the Kingdom forces from escaping. And then we routed the mercenaries, but backstab! From Gloucester, from Gloucester, Acheron, and of course, with the help with Claude. And we have to make a U-turn to the Great Bridge of Murder. This? Wow! Step right!